Hello everyone, in this video we're going to solve one problem on influence line. This problem is very important because it can tell us the use of influence line, okay? So, let us read the question. For the beam shown in figure A, determine the maximum positive and negative shears and the maximum positive and negative bending moments at point C due to a concentrated live load of 90 kN, a uniformly distributed live load of 40 kN per meter and a uniformly distributed dead load of 20 kN per meter. So, Zari and but I'm taking you one example and now in my room, yeah, example demo, sila influence line taken me type but example no malatno. Okay, now let us understand what is 90 kN, 40 kN per meter, and 20 kN per meter. So, for example, 90 kN is concentrated live load. In this case, this load can be placed anywhere along the length of the beam to get maximum positive and negative effect. Furthermore, 40 kN per meter distributed load also, its length is variable. Therefore, this can be placed anywhere along the length of the beam to get maximum positive and negative effect. However, this 20 kN per meter distributed load is dead load. Therefore, this is a self weight of the structure. So when we do analysis, this is not going to be uh, uh, just moved from its location. However, 90 kN and 40 kN per meter can be uh, moved to any location that we expect to give us maximum positive and negative effect for shear and bending moment. Okay? Okay. The first step is just to, we have to calculate the support reaction. Okay? Because we want to calculate shear and moment. Therefore, we have to calculate support reaction. To do this, we have to place a unit load at x distance from point A. Okay? Simply, uh, by equals to 12 minus x over 9, dy equals to x minus 3 over 9. Okay? Just the calculation is very simple. If you want to know how we can calculate the support reaction, I will put a video on the description box. You can check it. Okay? So, now let us go to step 2. Well, step two, calculate the influence line equations. Okay, to do this, we have two kind of load location. First is a unit load to the left from point C. Second one is a unit load to the right from point C. Okay, you may ask why we are uh, calculating uh, influence line for a unit load. This is the procedure. First, we have to calculate the influence line for a unit load. Then next, we are going to determine the effect of the concentrated and the distributed load. Okay. Now, for the two beams, let us take section at point C. So, for this beam, if we take a section at point C, by the way, this is the positive sign convention, the same as the shear force and bending moment diagram. Uh, using the method of section. So this is the positive sign convention. So for the second beam, also this is the section at point C. The internal uh, effects MC and VC are here. So, okay. Now let us take section at point C for the two beams. The first one, this is the free body diagram. For the second beam, this is the free body diagram. Okay. In this case, we have VC and MC as unknown okay uh, therefore uh, we have to remember that this is the uh, free body diagram for the positive sign convention okay now let us calculate vc okay assuming all upward force as positive summation of force along the way equals to zero therefore vc is downward it is negative minus vc plus by is upward positive 12 minus x over 9 minus a 1 kN downward force, this equals to 0. Therefore, Vc equals to 12 minus x over 9 minus 1. This equation is valid for x between 0 and 6. Okay? Now let us calculate Mc. Assuming counterclockwise moment as a positive, therefore, summation of moment at point C equals to 0. Therefore, this by creates a clockwise moment therefore minus 
12 minus x over 9, this is the force, times perpendicular distance between point B and C is 3 meter times 3, plus this 1 kilonewton creates a counterclockwise moment about point C, its perpendicular distance is, uh, this uh, distance between A and C is 6, therefore from 6 minus x is the perpendicular distance of 1 kilonewton about C, therefore 1 times perpendicular distance is 6 minus x plus mc is counterclockwise so positive plus mc equals to 0 therefore mc equals to 2x divided by 3 minus 2 this equation is valid for 0 less than x less than or equal 6 okay now let us calculate vc and mc for the second beam as we can see this is the free body diagram so uh, we have two segments this one and this one for me i'm going to take this one if we take this one here there is no uh unit load the unit load is to the right from point c okay therefore in this case this x distance equals to six okay because we are taking section at point c therefore assuming upward force as positive summation force along the way equals to zero vc is downward therefore minus vc plus by is upward therefore plus 12 minus x over 9 equals to 0 okay so vc equals to 12 minus x over 9 this equation is valid for x between 6 and 12 okay okay for mc assuming counterclockwise moment as positive summation of moment at point c equals to 0 Therefore, we have BY acting clockwise direction about point C, therefore minus 12 minus X over 9, this is the force, times perpendicular distance is 3 meter, plus MC counterclockwise, plus MC equals to 0. You don't have any unit load here, okay? Don't forget. Okay. Therefore, MC equals to 12 minus X over 3. This equation is valid for x between 6 and 12. Okay, guys, now we have calculated shear and moment equation for a unit law. Well, uh, step 3, using the influence line equations, draw the diagram. So, let's see our whole diagram. To do this, first we have to bring the equations here. Then let us draw the influence line diagram for shear and moment. Okay, well. First, let us draw the diagram for VC for X between 0 and 6, okay? Therefore, this is the beam length, point A, point B, point C, and D, okay? Okay, at X equals to 0, VC equals to 1 over 3, this point. At X equals to 3 or at point B, VC equals to 0 because... 12 minus 3 is 9, 9 divided by 9 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Therefore, at point B, VC is 0. At X equals to 6, VC equals to minus 1 over 3. Okay, now let us go to the second equation because the, the first equation is valid for X between 0 and 6. Therefore, for the second equation, at X equals to 6, VC equals to 2 over 3. At X equals to 12, vc equals to 0 therefore connecting the line simply we can draw the influence line for vc like this okay now let us start drawing the influence line diagram for mc okay the same first let us draw the points point a point b point c point d okay well for this equation at x equals to 0 mc equals to minus 1 over 2 this point at x equals to 3 b or at point b mc equals to 0 at x equals to 6 mc equals to 2 okay now let us go to the second equation at x equals to 6 mc equals to 2 at x equals to 12 mc equals to 0 this point simply connecting the points like this this is the influence line for mc okay this diagram is influence line 
for a unit load okay therefore ahun mindinna minnarego we are going to uh, determine the influence of distributed and concentrated as well as the uh, distributed dead load on the beam this diagram is only for a unit load okay at point c well a step four which is the final step calculate the maximum response okay let us first calculate the maximum positive vc at point c okay well uh, let us uh, bring the influence line diagram for sure this is the influence line so the question is maximum positive okay here we have one maximum positive one over three here also we have two over three okay so we have two positives the question is how we can uh, make the loading okay for obtaining the maximum positive vc at point c okay this diagram is only for a unit load so we can now determine the influence of distributed and concentrated load okay to do this first let us uh, draw the beam here point a b c and d this is the 20 kilonewton per, me per meter distributed dead load okay this is fixed on the structure we are not going to uh, change the location of this load however for the 40 kilonewton per meter distributed load and 90 kilonewton we have to make arrangement okay therefore the loading arrangement first let us put 40 kN per meter along CD and AB okay therefore for AB the, because to here between A and B we have a positive uh, shear which is maximum ordinate is 1 over 3 therefore we have to uh, load 40 kN per meter in this uh, length okay next bc bc is negative shear therefore we are not going to make loading here therefore between c and d we have a positive shear and its maximum ordinate is 2 over 3 therefore between c and d we are going to load the 40 kN per meter what about 90 kN just the maximum positive from 1 over 3 and 2 over 3 2 over 3 is uh, the maximum therefore we have to just put 90 kN concentrated just to the right of C okay this loading arrangement can give me maximum positive VC okay من مالت نو سلازي يه loading بما درجي positive شر maximum ون magnet جلال لو ني مالت نو okay well سلازي let us calculate the maximum positive VC D2 concentrated load of 90 kN what we are going to do is simply VC equals to 90 kN times the ordinate of the influence line for vc what is the maximum ordinate 2 over 3 simply vc equals to 60 kN. this vc is due to the concentrated 90 kN. okay what is the maximum positive vc d2 uniform distributed load of 40 kN per meter well simply we have two segment segment ab and segment cd okay uh, when we do for the concentrated load we multiply 90 kN with the originate okay however if you have a distributed load we have to multiply the intensity of the distributed load with the area of the influence line for shear or moment okay in this case the area of influence line for ab is the area is 1 over 2 base times height okay its base is 3 meter its height is 1 over 3 okay what about for cd the area of cd is 1 over 2 base times height base is 6 its height is 2 over 3 okay simply the intensity of the load is 40 km per meter times the area you have two area area 1 plus area 2 which means area ab plus area cd okay simply substituting the value vc equals to 100 km okay what about the maximum vc d2 dead load of 20 kN per meter for this case because dead loads are fixed their position cannot be varied to maximize the response okay therefore vc equals to intensity of the distributed load times the total area okay we have three area here we have positive area negative area and positive area okay 
therefore substitute by matrix is equal for example here 1 over 2 is base is 3 height is minus 1 over 3 it means we are calculating area for bc okay in this case this is minus okay totally bc equals to 40 kilonewton finally the total maximum positive bc equals to 60 kilonewton plus 100 kilonewton plus 40 kilonewton this equals to 200 kilonewton okay okay b the maximum negative vc at point c the same as previous this is the influence line diagram for vc so to determine the maximum negative effect how we can make the loading simply this is the part of negative shear which means the point between b and c okay therefore what we are going to do first is we have to load 40 kN per meter along the length BC, the length that can give me a negative shear. Okay, next I have to load 90 kN just to the left from point C a little bit. Okay, finish here. What is the Gafata Rutalachi simply at point C? What is the right and right and right? Okay, section of Lamasa. Okay, the 20 kN is fixed as I have tried to explain previously this is dead load no need of varying the load okay this is now the loading arrangement that can give me maximum negative shear okay the same as previous let us calculate maximum negative BC D2 concentrated 90 kilometer okay so let's see the number simply VC equals to the intensity of the load times the origin okay the origin for the negative shear the maximum is minus 1 over 3 therefore this equals to minus 30 kilometer the maximum negative vcd2 uniformly distributed load of 40 kilometer per meter vc equals to the intensity of the load times the area of the influence line what is the area of the influence line for the negative shear 1 over 2 base times height base is the length is between B, uh, B and C, which is 3 meter. Height is minus 1 over 3. Totally, this equals to minus 20 kilometer. The maximum VC due to dead load of 20 kilometer per meter, this is the same as previous, which is 40 kilometer. Okay, no need of varying the uh, position just to get maximum response. Okay, finally, total maximum negative. Uh, vc equals to minus 30 plus minus 20 plus 40 this equals to minus 10 kilonewton okay okay c the maximum positive mc at point c now we have to first bring the influence line for the moment for mc uh, which means influence line for uh, moment at point c maliton okay mc okay now to get the maximum positive MC, how I can make the loading arrangement? Simply first, let us load the 20 kN per meter distributed load along the length of the beam because this is a dead load. Next, we have to place 40 kN per meter distributed load along the lengths between B and D. Okay, why? Because this is the positive portion of the moment. Okay, therefore. I have to load this uh, in this uh, length. Okay, what about the concentrated load? The concentrated load is just to the point of maximum moment. Okay, which means in this case at point C, we have 2 kN meter. Okay, therefore, let's dig 90 kN as metal. Guys, this is the maximum, this is the loading arrangement that can give me maximum positive moment at point C. Okay, well. The same as previous, the maximum positive MCD to concentrated load of 90 kN, simply MC equals to 90 times 2. 90 is the intensity of the load, 2 is the originate of the maximum moment. Okay, this equals to 180 kN meter. The maximum positive MCD to uniformly distributed load of 40 kN per meter, this equals to the intensity of the load times the area of the influence line what is the area the area for the positive moment is the area between b c and c d okay so we have two triangles simply what we are going to do is 
1 over 2 base times height base is bc plus cd bc is 3 cd is 6 3 plus 6 is 9 therefore its base is 9 its height is common for the two triangle therefore this equal is to 360 kilometer meter okay okay the maximum mc due to dead load of 20 kilometer per meter is the same as the previous no need just uh, barring the position of the load the dead load simply mc equal to the intensity of the load times the area of the positive and the negative part okay therefore mc equal to 120 kilonewton meter finally the total maximum positive mc equal to 108 kilonewton meter okay the gametra plus 360 kilonewton meter plus 120 kilonewton meter therefore this equals to 360 okay now let us calculate the maximum negative mc at point c okay this is the influence line diagram for mc so this is the uh, date load arrangement first it's fixed now how i can arrange the loading to get maximum negative mc simply the negative part of this beam is the point between a and b therefore i have to plus the concentrated and distributed load along this length how simply the distributed load must be placed along the length of ab and the concentrated load also should be placed at this maximum ordinate which is minus two okay or at point a now this is the loading arrangement that can give me maximum negative mc now let us calculate the maximum negative mc due to concentrated load of 90 kN. this is simple mc equal to load intensity times the ordinate of the maximum negative moment which is minus 2 this equal to negative 180 kN meter okay the maximum negative mc due to uniformly distributed load of 40 kN per meter this equal to the intensity of the load times the area of the influence line the area of the negative uh, moment equal to 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 base times height base is 3 height is minus 2 therefore this is the area this is equal to minus 120 kilonewton meter the maximum vc due to the dead load is the same as previous this is equal to 120 kilonewton meter finally the total maximum negative mc equal to minus 180 kilonewton meter plus minus 120 kilonewton meter plus 120 kilonewton meter this equals to minus 180 kilonewton meter okay ziga meter chamber but uh, typing error no ziga meter alla moment slow no okay meter chamber this is all about the uh, example guys it's very simple the only thing you need to know is how to